Hello there, my name is Luke and welcome to another match day vlog. Harrier shirt on, so we're back up at Agra this week. We're not off in the Championship of Birmingham City, we're back to our roots, we're back off to Harriers. Today it is a match against Boston United, they're in good form, although they don't really have anything to play for. They're clear of the relegation zone, but they are they're miles clear of the playoffs as well, there's no chance of them getting there. So they're comfortably in mid-table, there's nothing for them to play for, so they are just playing for pride today. Harriers, on the other hand, we have got a lot still to play for. We are still in with an outside chance of the title, even though I did make a video two days ago saying that we will not win the title, because in my opinion we are at the title race, but there is still that tiny, tiny, tiny chance that we could be in the title race, and it is like a 1% chance. Final today are playing away at FC Halifax Town, so you never know. If Halifax can get a win, then there could be a slightly bigger chance, maybe a 2% chance then, but I still think that it's Fylde to lose, and it's going to take a massive bottle job from Fylde to end up messing this title up. So from this point forward, match day vlogs are going to change a little bit because Harry has contacted me in the last couple of days saying that, that I cannot film any match footage. They're well within their rights to say that and they're also well within their rights to take all the content down that includes match footage of Harriers, uh, which they're kindly not going to do, so I'm really thankful for that. Uh, but from this point forward, we are not going to be filming any match highlights. We're still going to have the rest of the vlog exactly the same. We're going to be capturing the atmosphere still from the match, but not directly filming the pitch. We're going to be filming the celebrations and everything like that, just not with my awful camera quality, just from my HTC One M9 phone, which is just really pixelated. So you know, the quality, it wasn't great anyway. But yeah, that's not going to be in the vlog anymore. But I hope that you still enjoy anyway. So the team news has just been announced. Let's take a look. Here it is, so in goal today we have Sam Hornby. Josh Eswale comes in at right back ahead of Jared Hodgkiss. He's not involved today, I would guess he is injured, but I don't know for sure. The rest of the back four stays the same, Lowe, Tunnicliffe and Zane Francis Angle. Crowsdale is in the midfield with McQuilkin and the returning Elton and Guatala. That is really good, he's been out injured for a couple of games, so it's really good to see him back because he's very important. Dan NT is on the right, Joe Ironside up front through the middle, four goals and one assist in his opening five games for Harriers, he's done really well so far, hopefully he can keep that up. And on the left wing is Sam Austin because Arthur Ganoa is out injured, he isn't back for today unfortunately. So without any further ado, let's get up to Agbra. Oh, 
Oh, cuts in. Go on. Oh. That's gone for a throw. Oh, dear, Sam. Oh, no. <laughs> service given to him whatsoever. Sanupe, he missed a really big chance He's on his home debut. He got through one-on-one, -on -one, pretty much around half the length of the field, just racing away from the defender in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and the keeper saved it, so that was, that was really disappointing, but it doesn't matter now, we got the win. Boston, for them, they didn't create much going forward. Defensively, they were solid, and that's what they seemed to want to do. They seemed to want one point today, and they nearly got it, but just because of Elson at the end, they weren't able to achieve that. But anyway, AFC Fylde, they beat FC Halifax Town 1-0 today, which means that Fylde stay six points clear now with three games left. Halifax are now four points behind us, so that's good that there's a bit of a gap opening up. And we're now, all in all, eight points inside the playoffs as things stand right now. So things are looking good for us to finish in that second spot come the end of the season. We've got three games left now, one on Monday away at Altrium, then we're playing Gainsborough away, and then we've got Bradford Park Avenue at home in a fortnight's time. It's gonna be 
for their three games that they really should win. Can we get three wins out of three? I'd like to think so. As for the player ratings, I've given Hornby a seven. Didn't have a save to make really in the game, but you know, his distribution was fairly good. As well, they went off injured after about half an hour. Up to that point, he was play playing pretty well. The rest of the back four, they kept a clean sheet. Francis Angle offered quite a bit going forward, turning fifth and low, playing some good passes. Crowsdale breaking up play as he always does in the midfield, making some good, good tackles. Elton and Guatala being creative, but not as creative as all as, as he usually is. McQuilkin, industrious performance, consistent. He, that's why I voted for him at, as player of the season at the start when I arrived at Agra. He gets an 8.5 today in T. He struggled a bit. He was giving the ball away quite a bit. Ironside was feeding off scraps and he didn't really produce anything in Austin. He gave the ball away a lot. He would run at up, run up players, but they would tackle him, which was unfortunate. The subs, Williams came on in place of Ezwele and played really well, actually, at right back. Sanupe came on, although he missed that one chance, he did show that he has got something about him. He's very quick and very good on the ball as well, I think. And then Andre Brown, he was on for about five minutes and didn't really do anything, so I can't really give him any, anything higher than about six. Anyway, that's it for this matchday vlog. Obviously, the format has changed a little bit. It's out of my control, and I apologise to anyone who is missing the lack of highlights, but there's nothing I can do about it. So, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, remember to click that like button and subscribe. So, thanks for watching, and thank the Lord for Elton and Wittala.